and then okay so today it's going to be 59 and really it's going to be okay all week it's going to be really rainy so that's um good um it's going to be 59 and then later it will be 46 tomorrow it's going to be 56 and then later um 46 um on wednesday it's going to be 58 and then later 40 um on thursday it's going to be 60 and then later 43 um, on Friday, it's going to be 59, and then later 49. On Saturday, it's going to be 56, and then later 48. On Sunday, it's going to be 56, and then later 49. And then, okay, yeah. For the next week. Okay, thanks, Mila. So, rainy week. How many people are enjoying the rainy weather? I'm ready for it. We needed it. Boy, did we need it. Nope. You like the sun, Kainoa? <laughs> I have to make my pumpkin a ghost. Ah, yeah. Excellent. Okay. So um, I started recording. Today is Monday, October 24th. Thanks for the weather report, Mila. Thank you for the riddle, Liam. Um, did you have a question, Nora? Or comment? Um, yeah, I kind of have a comment. I think we needed the rain because California was getting so dry. And um, how many people noticed um, the smoke in the air last week? Like when you looked outside, it was really smoky. I did. We had a really big fire over in across the river in Vancouver, near Vancouver. And so we needed to get that fire out. It was really bad. It was close to people's houses. So we needed the rain really badly. Yeah, Vivi, did you have something you wanted to say? I needed the rain because there was really bad pollution in my area. So I needed the rain to wash everything out. Yeah, make it easier to breathe, huh? Well, then we just have to be thankful for the rain and have a nice, cozy, rainy week of cuddling in and settling in and doing the things that we want to do this week. So let's take a look at what's going on this week. So we already talked about Spirit Week. We've got today is Pink Out Day. Tomorrow is Sports um, Day or Hobby Day where you can dress in sports clothing or you can dress up like your hobby, like a painter or whatever, a cook. Um, and then on Wednesday, it's Disney or Hero Day. So you dress as a Disney person or a hero. Um, we have uh, today, I'm going to share my screen and kind of walk you through our week. So if we look at our calendar, there's a lot on there. It's the 24th. We have all three of our A groups meeting today. So at 11 o'clock, we have the Reading Cats with Nora, Vivi, and Sasha. Please remember to meet. And if you want to go on and see what your group was working on, click on the link on the calendar today. And you should be able to go to that Google Doc and see what you're supposed to have done. But please come whether you do that or not, because we really want you there. Um, and then in uh, Monday's agenda, you can see that we have day one of Flex Expert Week, and we'll talk about that in a second. And then in math, we're on lesson 402. We have a lesson, and it's not too long, and then a quiz. And then um, we're still doing free writing. I decided to give you guys a few more days of free writing, so you're still working on your free writing project. It needs to be done by Wednesday. So today we're going to set goals to finish, which is one of the hardest things in writing is actually finishing writing. Um, and if you're not done, I actually want to tell you that I'm impressed by that because truthfully, the stronger writer you are, the more you can write. Um, people who are done in five minutes are weaker writers because they don't have as much to say and they don't know what to do. So the fact that you have a lot to write is a good thing, but then it's hard to finish. That's okay. It's a good problem to have. So um, two o'clock, we're going to have our content lesson. We're doing this mini human rights unit this week thinking about what does it mean to live well together? Who are we responsible to? We're gonna talk a little bit about the um, constitution and some things governing our country and just kind of how to get along. So let's take a look at our Flex Expert Week. Um, Nora, yeah, you have your hand raised. Um, did you say our book club was at eight? No, at 11, oh. 11 o'clock. So that was the new time we changed it to. And it should say that on here. Um, yeah, 11 today. So it's on the assignment. It says uh, what it's what it's to. So let's look at language arts. And this is where you're going to find this Flextra project. So this is one of those weeks where we're going to do um, something that you're interested in. And since it's only a three-day week, I actually gave you a couple of days next week to do it too. 
So this time, it's just like last time. And if you say to me, oh, Ms. Laws, I don't want to do it the way you said to do it this week. I have another idea that I wanted to do, and it doesn't fit with your Flexpert week. Um, I'm always game to have you do what you want to do. But this week, I thought we would learn some content. So this week, you get to focus on becoming an expert in a topic of your choice. Pick a topic you're curious about. Here's a link to a whole bunch of great topics with some guiding questions to research. So I don't want anybody to tell me on Wednesday, I haven't come up with a topic yet. Today you choose a topic, okay? Make a plan like this to use your time wisely because part of what we're learning is how to break up our time and schedule our own time. Stick to your plan, communicate with your teacher or home coach and do your best work. Make a decision to be brave and confident and present your information. Come up with a way to present your information. Pacing, this is a quick six day project. Five days to do the work and a weekend to do the research and project. And on the sixth day, we'll share. Like in a real life job, if for any reason you aren't going to be done on time or you're not going to do the project, you need to communicate with your teacher or your boss at work or you'll lose your job. So what's today's assignment? Let's look at that. It says, submit your topic here today for expert week I will learn about. All you have to do is tell me what you're going to learn about. So going back to the topics. Let's take a look at the link. Ultimate list of research topics for kids. So you saw that that link was on the first assignment, not on 101, but it was on the, the, the introduction to the assignment. This has the solar system with a bunch of guiding questions and possible projects. Create a solar system. Liam already did this one. Use yarn to measure out how far apart the planets are to scale. That's actually pretty interesting. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs is a great topic. What do paleontologists think dinosaurs lived? Where did they live? What have they learned about dinosaur colors? Because now they're thinking dinosaurs might have been covered with fur and feathers and colors. Pretty interesting. Possible projects, you can make your own salt and flower dinosaur fossils. You don't have to do what it says here. These are just ideas to get you started. Landforms, learn about different landforms, volcanoes, mountains, glaciers, caves, maybe the melting of the ice. And then teach a little lesson to your classmates about landforms. You get to teach a little lesson if you want in that one. Here's one on volcanoes, animals and habitats. Maybe you're interested in animals and where they live. Here you get to create a little diorama of the habitat if you like. Pretty interesting. Extreme weather, maybe you're interested in tornadoes. Some of my boys just read about a big tornado. How does a tornado form? Where do they have tornadoes? Why did they happen? Are natural disasters getting worse with climate change? I think they are. United States president, somebody just said they wanted to learn about a president. Here's some great questions about presidents. Who can be the president? Maybe you have a pop culture topic you're interested in. Some kids really love collecting tennis shoes and researching which tennis shoes are worth a lot of money. Or I know a lot of kids are way into anime or K-pop. You could learn about it. Where did it come from? Um, where does it take place? How much money is involved? You can learn about the United States, the history, the Constitution. We're going to be talking about some of these things this week anyway. So that way you would combine two projects. Maybe Black history, it's a great research topic. What are the history of civil rights in America? Who are some of the leaders? What were some of these events? The March on Washington, the bus boycott, really interesting. And then you can pick a character who was a civil rights leader and make a poster and write some character traits on there. Holidays around the world. Maybe you wanna teach us about a holiday you celebrate that not everybody celebrates. And then you can choose some way to share it like you could cook an Eid Muslim dessert or something, or make a altar for Day of the Dead, whatever holiday you want, you could learn about. Women in history. I usually have somebody who's pretty interested in women's rights. It's a totally fascinating topic. Research, you could write a report. You could dress up like a character and give a speech. Scientists and inventors and maybe inventions. Chindogu, the art of unuseless Japanese inventions, totally fascinating. Author study. I know this is a long list, so don't tell me you don't have any ideas because it's all there. And again, if you want to find that, you go to the Flexpert Wheat Project. It's in language arts between mod two and mod three. Okay, I'm going to stop my share and answer some questions. Evie, what's your question? 
Um, Why so, so pink? Because it's a pink out day, my friend. It's a spirit day. You're supposed to have pink on. Hey guys, there are four kids in my class who have permission to have their screens off. Everybody else, screens on right now, please. Thank you. Thank it's you. Screens on. My screen is not working. I'm gonna like. Okay, that's on. fine. Go ahead and ask your question. Oh yeah, but um, my question was um, since we don't have school on those days, do we still have homework? No, you'll okay. see. It's only a three day plan for this week. Okay. And I expanded the five days into next week so that you get a little more time to do your project. Okay, I'm gonna leave and come back. Okay, Mila, what's your question? Um, where do I find uh, your video recordings in, um, like where do I find the video recordings for the classes? I'll show you, but before I do that, can we do something super important guys? I noticed that Luis has joined us and we, um, we did sing to Sasha for her birthday last week, but Luis wasn't here, so we couldn't sing to him, and he had a birthday this weekend. So on the count of three, could everybody unmute, grab your instruments, I have to go grab my guitar, and get ready to do a horrible, horrible, horrible version of Happy Birthday to You. So turn, turn on your um, sound. Happy. How do I get noticed? Okay, you ready? On the count of three, I can't use my guitar because I feel like there's something in it. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, I see a lot of screens that need to be turned on. Please unmute so that we can hear you singing so it'll be loud and awful. We need all your help to make it as terrible as can be. Please unmute and get ready to sing really loud. If you don't want to sing, beat the drums, okay? So here we go. A one, and a two, and a three. Oh! buddy i uh i really didn't really do anything i guess did you have cake no well now you've had a fabulous song yeah yeah good happy birthday buddy um okay friends so uh eli is back eli you're supposed to give us a a joke if you're not ready today have it ready tomorrow okay all right. So again, this week, um, Mila wanted to see where the recordings are, and I'll show you that in a second. And also, we're doing a um, a week of flex. So um, it's a flex week, a flex expert week. So again, Mila, when you go to the home screen and you go up here to resources, this is where all the recordings are. So if you ever miss a meeting, guys, here's the class videos. Look at them all morning meetings, language arts, math meetings, either they say the date or they'll say like a specific lesson, writing meetings, <laughs> uh, tech meetings, social studies meetings, um, science meetings, read alouds and general meetings. So there's a lot of recordings in there that you can watch. Um, you also were given a link to, and you have it right on the home screen, a link to our weekly schedule at a glance. There we are. Um, if you have not gotten to make a Pixton person yet, I think everybody here is actually on here. Um, if anybody didn't, though, send me a meeting and I'll send you the link to make your Pixton character. And then right here where it says weekly schedule at a glance, you can always click on that on the home screen and it'll take you to the whole week. So, Evie, you can see here that it's just three days of school this week, and then we have conferences. The conferences are Wednesday and Thursday. Actually, um, Sophia, I need you to set up your conference, and so stay on here for a second. Um, you can see this Flextra. Day one is you need to come up with a topic, 
Day two, you're going to um, sort of come up with a, a plan. And day three, I'm just checking in to make sure you've gotten started. So you're going to have some days next week to finish this Flextra project and present it. So this is all we're doing for the next two weeks. No language arts for two weeks, guys, for this week and next week. A little break from language arts. Um, you're still reading. You're still doing your book clubs. You're still doing math but you get a break from the other things, okay? But that's only if you do your Flextra project. So you need to get on that. That's in language art. So that's where you find that. Um, then here's the math lessons this week, 402, 403, 404. And we have math next week too. We have the book clubs like normal. We still have our writing because we're finishing up our free writing project. So please zoom in for that. We have our book clubs in the afternoon. And then we're doing this little mini social studies unit. It doesn't have homework, but please come in to watch or watch those videos because it's kind of an interesting thing. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about human rights, which is an interesting topic. So that's your week at a glance. Again, to get to this Flextra assignment, you're going to go to your subjects. You're going to go to language arts. You're going to go into modules. And between the second and third language arts um, project. You can see here's two free writing between. Here's this Flexpert week, Flex plus Expert. Go to the first introduction assignment, and it's got a link to all of those topics and a link to a plan that you can make for using your time wisely. So all of that is there. I'm going to stop my share in a second, but first I want to show you a couple of things. I thought you guys would like this. Um, the reason we do Flexra projects and flex breaks is because you're working hard and you need a break and you need time to catch up. But also it's because the truth is kids uh, love to read because they love to read and they read things that they wanna read because they wanna read them. Um, we found that when you have choice, you learn more. So here is a little video from Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's a famous um, scientist who studies space. And uh, he has a thing or two to say about what he thinks about kids and their curiosity. I don't know why people continue to concern themselves with getting kids interested in STEM fields. That's a mystery to me because all kids are interested in STEM fields. It's the adults that are the problems, the adults who run things, who wield resources, who have political, cultural, economic power. Those are the ones who are clueless, of not entirely clueless, but clueless enough to be bungling, stumbling along the way, trying to figure out what to do about the human forces on our environment or, or any matter of science literacy that affects us today. I am too impatient to wait for the eighth grader to become old enough to run the country to say, now we have a scientifically literate leadership. Adults outnumber kids five to one. Kids are born curious and they get beat it out of, beaten out of them by the time they're in high school by adults. Spend the first year of their life teaching them to walk and talk and the rest of their lives telling them to shut up and sit down. Every kid you've ever met is full of questions. That's what a scientist is, we're full of questions. The kid thinks that there exists an answer to every one of their questions and that you, the adult, have that answer. The great transition that a kid has to make is realizing that not only does the specific adult not necessarily have all the answers? There are some questions they might pose where no adult has the answer because it hasn't been discovered yet. These are the elements of curiosity we need to cherish in our children. But to presume it's not there when we have to put it in them? No. Take another look at your kids. The task of the adult should be stay out of their way. Let their curiosity run free. And let the children run free while the adults actually learn some science. Those who were in charge. Yeah. I thought you guys would like that. So this is your week to run free. I'm getting out of the way. It's your week to learn something because you want to learn it. And it's up to you to do it. Okay. So um, any questions about this project about this week? You have six days, really, five days to do the project and one day to um, present it. Yeah, Mila. Um, can we still have lunch bunch? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Of course. Yes. Everything's going to be the
the same as always. It's just that instead of me going over language arts lessons and social studies lessons, you guys are going to be exploring things on your own. So if you did a great job with your flex, your flex project last time, that was kind of like invent something or do something. It's going to be like that. But this time I want you to learn something. I want you doing some research on a topic that you want to learn more about. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, and you might say to me, well, Ms. Luz, I'm really behind on a lot of things. I want to use it to catch up again. I don't want you always using your flex weeks to catch up. If you used your last flex week to catch up, I'd prefer you try and learn something new this time. Get to do something fun. All right. This is your week. Any questions? All right, but you do need to send me an email today, or not an email, but submit that assignment, that one point or, or the Flextra 1.01, um, that tells me what you're going to learn about. Lionfish, uh, fleas, moss, sandwiches. <laughs> I don't care what the topic is, but you have to send me the topic. One word. Is there anybody who can't get that done today? All right. All right, friends, it is time for specials. After specials, come back at 10 o'clock for math. Um, Sophia, are you still on here? I really need to help you set up that conference. She's gone. Darn it. I never can hold on to her till the end. Okay. What's that? Yeah, it's it's 9.04. It's almost time for specials. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, guys.